the uh, corporate and you've got the regional offices um, and and the training the L&D is coming from corporate, right? Um, mm-hmm. And so one of the challenges I'm assuming you face is, is getting engagement um, and making sure this isn't just a corporate initiative that, you know, that is being rammed down people's throats and, and making sure that they're a part of it. So, you know, what? tell me a little bit about how that's working for you and what have you done to overcome potential resistance to what you're bringing? Yeah, I'll, I'll just kind of share what we're doing. I'm sure um, others listening will will be in that role too. You know, that 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 balance, that teeter-totter of things coming from corporate and having that come across in, in the right way, I think is a challenge for, for many, many people. Um, for, for us, we do a couple of things that I think are helpful when we're trying to do that. And, and you mentioned this, our structure we have, and I said that we have these 60 branches around the company. We've really set them up to kind of, in a way, be independent businesses. So there's a, a branch manager that really kind of owns what happens in that, you know, $5 million office. But then you got this overlay of the, the corporate support. And I think the word support is key here. And, mm-hmm. and because I think that helps me understand my role to those branches is support. I need mm-hmm. to help them be successful. I, my role is to help them reach their, you know, their goals and, and success in the branch. Now, communication is always, is also a really big key because for any of us, when we don't understand the why, why does Skylar want some of my employees to engage in this training? Like, what's the purpose of that? It's just, is it just something more to do? Is it because he's sitting in his office and to get a paycheck, he needs to give me something, you know, to learn? <laughs> or is it because this is really going to add value to, to the branch teams? And, and I mm-hmm. hope that's where it comes from. So, so we do a couple of things, I think, to, to give that message of communication and support. One of the things with the big project that I'm working on um, is a, a training that new employees go through new they're, they're out of college, they're starting their first career job, and they're in an entry-level management position. And it's a year-long training program, and every mm. week there's assignments. And one of the things we do to, to answer your question is we engage with the branch managers and the, and I don't want to get too, too far into like the organizational structure, but the, the branch managers and the regional or market vice presidents, we engage with them first Mm. and say, Hey, here's some training that is, that we feel is really important for these new employees that you're hiring this year that are in their entry-level management positions. And we, we, we communicate the training to them. We, we let them see the training. We, we, we give them access to all the, the, the con they can have access to all the content. We give them an overview. So you can say, right. okay, this is what it will entail. These are the topics we're going to cover. And then we ask them to, suggest employees that they would like to participate in this. Mm. So, so it's, it makes it nice because then we know that we've got their understanding of the program of what's required, the time commitment, the value in it. And they, and those that feel comfortable enough with it, they then recommend, Hey, I'd like Susie or Johnny to do it this year. And I have full support of it. At that point, then we reach out to those employees and we say, Hey, you have been recommended by your manager. We are oh, really nice. excited. We would like you to participate in it. If they choose to do so, then we have, we kind of created this, we call it an agreement, which sounds really boring and legal, but we create this really fun one page colorful document that's really a, uh, you know, a marketing piece that says, Hey, this program is going to be awesome. By the way, this is what's required as far as time and commitment. And then we have the employee sign it. And again, their manager signs it. So, I think that mm. builds confidence in the employee knowing that they have the support of their managers. And that helps break a lot of barriers down mm-hmm. um, as far as like, oh, this is just something else that corporate is making us do there. They get, they get a choice. They get to decide, do I want my employee to do that? Is this the right time for him or her? So that's, that's an example of, of something that we do. And others are when we have our, our larger corporate leadership um, conferences where we bring all of our managers together in person, which we do once a year. We also talk about these training initiatives there and, and mm. get some counsel and some buy-in um, there. And then, and then we try to kind of get the water to the end of the row, so to speak. 
So in, in some ways, it's, it's, it's a reward or it's a, like an acknowledgement of someone's value that they're being picked for this training. So yeah, it's kind in, of a, in, the, in the example with the, with the specific training that I'm talking about, absolutely. It's, mm -hmm. it's kind of by invitation only. It's, mm -hmm. it's a year long training that, mm -hmm. in this specific example. So it's, it's a lot. It's so we have other trainings that are, you know, not that big, but yeah, that <laughs> one, it's, it's, a it, it's a sign of our commitment to that employee. It's, it's but, kind of, yeah, I'd say kind of a reward. It's letting them know, hey, we're really seriously investing in you. And um, mm -hmm. by the way, I'll just add this. It, I don't want this to come across as is uh, over overconfident, but in the landscape world, this type of training and learning and development, um, we feel like we're kind of like breaking some new ground. I know it's mm -hmm. not new ground in the L&D environment, but for mm -hmm. landscapers, um, we feel like we're doing something really, really cool that um, <laughs> is going to you know, and it's not that other landscape companies don't have, you know, education. It's important to all of us. But anyway, I'll just put that little plug in there too. It's fun for me to be involved with a company that's really, I think, breaking ground in our profession in the landscape management, you know, world. Yeah, and, and actually, uh, we, we spoke before and you mentioned something. I can't remember what you said about your CEO and, and, and mm -hmm. his commitment to this. So, yeah. so it's, it's, and then, and then how, how, what he, what changes he implemented so it's like true organizational support for that big idea. So tell me a little bit about that uh, thinking from, from him. Yeah, I mean, he himself values employee development and learning and education, and he sees how important it is to the success of the company. Um, I mean, it's an indirect financial reward or, or financial outcome. Mm -hmm. um, so, but it's, it's, it can be a hard one, I think, for executives. And if you're just looking at it from a financial perspective, you know, my, my job, I, I just cost, you know, in, in the least in the short term, I, I spend the money, right? I don't earn the money. <laughs> Our branch managers and teams are the ones serving the customers. They earn the money. So, so, so we, we our, our CEO understands the value of that, that investment. It's a spend now in time mm -hmm. in my, my, my position, right. Is, is gotta be something that he has decided is, is, uh, and the position of the others on my team. But so yes, we have his support. It's, I think it started with him, mm -hmm. um, which is, I think really cool. And, and I, I think it's, I mean, I'm lucky to be in that where we, we have uh, uh, his support. It started with him. We don't have to convince him that, Hey, we need to invest in people's learning and development. Now, yes, we answer to him when we want to help have a conference and it's going to cost some money, you know, that we got to be careful um, with the, with the, with the business money, but, but he is on board and he comes mm. into the trainings and he's a guest speaker at some of the things mm. that we do. And he want, he came up to me at one of a meeting I was in with him and, and many other leaders in, in the company and said, Hey, will you let me be more involved with the training that you're doing? I want to be, and it's like, well, you're the CEO. So, you know, you can absolutely, <laughs> we want you involved. He's a very passionate person also about mm -hmm. um, what we do and investing in not only our people, but our community and the environment. Um, so, so we have his support and that kind of flows down um, to, to the rest of us, which is really cool. That's very cool. Uh, having been on the other side where you push ideas uphill, I'd, rest, I'd much rather be in your position. <laughs> yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some things we get creative and he kind of wants to rethink a little bit, but I think that's part of, of good dialogue and counseling together as mm -hmm. professionals about, you know, and coming up with, you know, this, the, um, having the synergy, you know, to, to make ideas even better. So yeah, there's, I mean, we don't have a blank check, but <laughs> we do have his strong support. That's it's really that's that's the battle I think right there. That's absolutely the battle. Yeah. Um, well, the other thing that we started talking about was, um, you know, the future of L and D, right? And mm -hmm. and I know that um, I've been absolutely dumbstruck by 